is tofu tofu over here and um, <laughs> little curious are we okay please don't uh, type random shit yeah if you uh, get any hate comments or hate comment responses from me those are not actually from me those are from my uh, cat there she is again hi kitty hi hi uh without wasting more time let's get to today's video All right guys so today's video is going to be a reaction to uh Isaru Chief S Somnath and what he said in his speech uh promoting the origins of a lot of science in India now i've only till now seen the uh, article version of that and most of that was a little vague some of that that did originate in India some of what he said was very vague to uh to talk about the the actual nuance but today i have the actual video yep that is uh, him talking in the marshi pa- panini sanskrit university panini was the great sanskrit grammarian and so let's listen to what he actually said namaskara ha marshi panini sanskrit vaidik vishwavidyalaya sya चतुर्थ दिनांक समारोह उपस्थित ओ ही स्पीकिंग इन संस्कृत आई थिंक संस्कृत इज अ ब्यूटीफुल लैंग्वेज आई थिंक इट्स वेरी लॉजिकल वेरी वेल स्ट्रक्चर्ड ड्रामेटिकली एंड इट्स एडमिरेबल दैट ही स्पीकिंग इन संस्कृत सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग लेट्स सी एग्जैक्टली व्हाट ही सेस एंड यस आई डू अंडरस्टैंड so most of this uh, i've learned sanskrit in school so i only have a school level knowledge of sanskrit so i can read uh, shlokas and passages when they send when anyone sends me i have a little difficulty with certain words that i've never seen before so i get that translated i think i got lots of comments saying that oh i got a translated from a friend uh, and people easily say this friend is someone who has my own biases no this friend is someone who is from a sanskrit uh, scholarship background and he knows sanskrit way better than any of these people commenting below my videos and um, i also got it translated by dr balachandra rao who is also a sanskrit scholar and who whose book was the basis for my video on aryabhata where i uh, praised the excellence of his book which is an exemplary work in science anyway i'm blabbering let's go back to this video madhya pradesh shasanasya uchcha shiksha mandrinah mananiya dr mohan yadav mahodaya samarohasya adhyakshah mananiya acharya vijay kumar ci ji mahodaya let's uh, skip to the part where he switches with uh, to english because i know he said the controversial parts in english mama agrima bhashanam angla bhashaya kathiyantu it's finally he saying he'll say the rest of the speech in english tell me i would like to speak the rest of my speech in english so See? bear with me thank you for inviting to this great university to see the power of sanskrit sanskrit is one of the oldest languages in the world with a rich repertoire of knowledge in the domain of poetry logic grammar philosophy aesthetics science technology mathematics and other allied subjects and contributions in the area of of all this which i mentioned so when this when anyone says very generally about uh, uh, the kind of works that are available in the sanskrit language in all these fields very generally and very vaguely i don't disagree with that uh, there are great works uh, in sanskrit and uh, a lot of them i've spoken about in my channel uh, you probably if you're uh, if you hate my channel you probably haven't seen those videos but uh, yeah i don't deny any of this but when you go into the nuances of each specific thing he said that's where we get problems the very first book which i come across in sanskrit which talks about the domain which i am familiar with is the surya siddhanta many of you would have known about this book 
And this is the book specifically talks about the solar system, the sun, the planets, and how the planets move around the sun, the periodicity of this movement, the time scales which are involved, the size of this, the whole structure, even the size of the earth. Even to think that your earth is a sphere, it has a diameter, it has a circumference. I think all these thoughts that happened there that time, it didn't stay here, it traveled all the way through the Arabic no, no, travelers, it went to Europe, and thousands of years later, the knowledge came back to us in the form of discovery by the great scientists of the Western world. Though it was all found out here, it was written down in this language, and today we know that it has been created. Varaha Mihira, through his Pancho Siddhanta, we know much about it today. Lagada, in the 1500 year BC, he has created the Vedanga Jyotisha. Aryabhata's work 1, Varaha Mihira's works, Paskara 1 and 2. Brahmagupta, it created the Brahmasputta Siddhanta, again a scientific work. Parameshwara and many others in Kerala, where I am coming from, wrote the Goladipika, which is again a very interesting book on uh, astronomy. You know that the, many of the literature written in terms of the ideas like zero. If you subtract one from the one, you get zero, shunya, the concept of shunya. And equally important is the concept of infinity. I think both of these are the findings of those great rishis, expressed in very beautiful poetic ways. Even you know the algebra, the concept of the mathematical concepts called algebra, the square root of numbers, very precisely expressed. Even Bodhayana equated to Pythagoras theorem. You know, Bodhayana was living in during 800 BC, Pythagoras came much later. And he expressed that for a right angle triangle, how the connections between sides are expressed beautifully in the concept of areas. Though he was not talking about square, but he was talking about areas. It's exactly the same theorem of Pythagoras, expressed in beautifully in Sanskrit in two sentences. You can read that and understand the beauty of it. Okay, uh, I think you can find this video yourself and watch it uh, uh, at your leisure. But I think that's what I want for commenting on this. Uh, and I will do so right now. So, uh, see, the Baudhayana Sulpa Sutra, uh, I've talked about this in my videos also. Uh, that is genuinely something that talks about uh, uh, what the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and it's genuine. It's genuinely proper math. Uh, but if you look at the context in which that... Uh, the uh, Baudhayana Sutra was introduced. Uh, it's basically talking about how to build the art or altar for conducting the yajna. So there is, it's a mixture of something scientific with something unscientific. And I understand that back then we didn't really have a clear, uh, clear boundary between the two. So I don't really blame uh, the people back then who came up with it. But I blame the people now who are promoting this because they can clearly see what's the unscientific things in there and what's the scientific things in there. So, uh, Bhavdena, though it is genuine math, uh, there are scientific ideas mixed with unscientific ideas and uh, the people who are promoting it today uh, promote it as something purely scientific, which is problematic. At the very least, I don't have more to say about that. But uh, in the beginning, he talked about Surya Siddhanta. Now, as far as I'm aware, and I will confirm this with the uh, genuine Sanskrit scholars that I know, no written work from India talked about uh, the uh, heliocentric model, the sun being in the center and all the planets going around uh, uh, around the sun. Even Madhava, who came from Kerala in the 14th century, had a pseudo-heliocentric model where planets other than the earth revolve around the sun and the sun goes around the earth. Uh, I will confirm this and uh, say, uh, say this with more certainty. But as far as I'm aware, uh, no work from India actually spoke about a proper heliocentric model before Copernicus from Europe. Uh, some of the other things he said, uh, see, the mathematicians, uh, Arabata, Varahamira, uh, uh, Brahmagupta, all these people are amazing mathematicians. I've spoken about them in my channel also. You can find videos in my main channel, not this channel. Um, 
and um, in my main channel science is dope link below i'm not saying anything about s somnath uh, he is for sure uh, someone who's greatly scientifically educated uh, his scientific knowledge is clearly uh, at a level that the average person can't reach especially given the uh, position he's at but scientific temper wise i wouldn't say he's a man of amazing scientific temper because he jumps to conclusions that make relig- his religion or his the source of scriptures that he's talking about really great and some of what he said like uh, aeronautics in sanskrit i think he's talking about vimanas which i've debunked on the main channel with proper sources and evidence many other concepts like the concept of vimana architecture the construction technologies the ta- concept of time which is beautifully expressed in many many literature the structure of the universe that how it evolves and grows bigger and bigger with the time metallurgy and manufacturing chemical technologies medicine treatment these other things about the structure of the universe those are all empirical ideas which you can't learn without observing in this case with a telescope you your eyes can only reach so far your naked eyes can only reach so far so without a telescope you won't be able to learn more about the structure of the universe so i know what he is saying here oh and i should also add this we have no evidence for a telescope from ancient india i, I know that many other chairmen of isro uh, in the past have also said unscientific things um irrational things then this uh, for computation purposes at the time they had to memorize only 16 sutras using those sutras they could find uh, solutions to almost everything so this is something amazing and uh, perhaps uh, you know the modern uh, the mathematics or the, uh, the algebra and all those things owes its origin to this um, in fact many of the computer uh, solutions what you are making today this kind of sutras are very valuable i wouldn't directly attribute them saying this to uh, the de- to deception because maybe there's so much bombarding of the idea that hindu scriptures spoke about all this uh, long back and they probably came across those ideas and they're probably believers of those ideas now and that's probably why they why he saying this i wouldn't directly attribute what he's saying to deception but maybe it's a mistake on his part but i will say that what he said is black and white it's a mix of science with non science and i think this is uh, going to be a talking point for a lot of hindu nationalists it's going to influence um the nation people watching in the wrong way that will promote irrational ideas among them so i wouldn't um uh, stand behind what he said i'll see you in the next one